Okay, TikTok houses are leveling the fudge up. Content houses have always been a thing, right? I'm pretty sure it started with, with gamers. Like, it probably all comes from, like, land, land parties. And then there was the time, you remember when, when Vine was around, where all, all of the big Viners lived in the same apartment building on Vine Street in Hollywood? <laughs> so they could shoot content together. That was kind of an early form of this. Then all of a sudden, influencers started coming together and renting these mansions. Team 10 house, remember that? They were in West Hollywood. They rented a mansion and they like burnt it down or some shit. And so they moved to Calabasas where and got an even bigger house in the same town as fucking Drake. The Cloud House, the giant house in the Hollywood Hills. Pool, sick ass view. The Phase House, you ever seen that? Look at this, $30 million. It's like 28 bedrooms, 64 baths. So then TikTok came around, so naturally TikTok houses became a thing. You got the Hype House, the Sway House. But that's what I mean by leveling up, right? Not only are the houses getting crazier, but the amount now. The Sway House, tick, the Hype House, old, old fucking news, all right? There's like 50 of them now. There's so goddamn many. There's the Club House, the Alpha House. There's this group of like comedy TikTokers that moved into a house in Vegas where they, where they used to shoot pornos. There's the not a content house. They have a big ass house in Bel Air. There's a TikTok house for people my age called the Honey House. They advertise themselves as the TikTok house for adults. And that one's really funny. And now I'm sure you've seen videos of that one, but they all like have real jobs. Like that's their shtick is that they all like work day jobs, but they're like meditation coaches and, and fitness Zoom instructors. And it's just all shit that doesn't exist outside of LA. It's awesome. But that's not it. The TikTok houses are also in Europe now. Too. There's the Jet House. That's one. It's called that because the people who live there see themselves as jet setters. I wish I was kidding. Then there's the Goat House in Ireland. And there's a new one in the UK called the Wave House, which we're going to look at very last because that's like the entire reason why I'm making this video. It's so awesome. All right. I know I just threw a lot at you. Let's start this all off by looking at the Sway House upgrade. All right. This is a group of guys. If you don't know the Sway House, a group of dudes, they lived in a nice house and they just moved into a better house because Triller, which is a competing app with TikTok, now probably gonna be the replacement, maybe after Sunday, hired one of the kids who's 18 years old to be their chief strategy officer. This is a company that made like $100 million last year. He hired, they hired an 18 year old to be their CSO. And I guess as one of the perks, they get to move into the Triller house, which is this fucking gargantuan. That's a term I just made up for gargantuous mansion. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Triller House! <laughs> yes, boys! Yeah, welcome to the Triller House! Woo! Yeah, if you actually look straight up right there, that is a room right there, right above our garage. And it's actually for uh, one of our managers. We were also informed. It, so that that's a pool house. That's a pool house above their garage that they just use as their manager's like place that the manager hangs out when he comes over. <laughs> This is his managing area where he manages stuff. This is the pool house. I am the pool boy. Uh, we have the kitchen. Look, this, is a, this is a pool house. There's a kitchen in the pool house. This is like an entire apartment that is just used for the manager to manage them. Yeah, you little manager bitch. Get us some deals, dog. Oh, I don't know. Gee, I, I ever heard of making us some money? You little pool house bitch boy. Make some calls, dog. <laughs> there's a gym, there's a fucking, there's everything you could ever want. But the craziest shit about this house is right here. Look at this bathroom. Please take a gander at this bathroom. This is where Margot Robbie goes to the bathroom when she stays over. Hey, wait, wait, this is the best. What the fuck? It's like a roller skating rink. It's that big. I've never seen a bathroom like this in my entire life, and I'm absolutely floored by it. I'm floored by these floors. Look at these marble fucking floors. They're beautiful. You could take a shit on the floor in a different place every single day for a year and never even come close to stepping on one of your own shits. That's how big this bathroom is. Yeah, the toilet opens by itself. Yeah, something that's even better. Oh, no, no. no. This is the guy's bathroom, aka my bathroom. Oh, your shower's kind of small, dude. It's an evil box. What? Is what? In the shower. What'd you <laughs> So now you're probably thinking, Cody, you're just jealous, dude. Stop ripping on these kids' lifestyle just because all you have is a fucking couch with laundry on it all the time. To that, I would say, yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking jealous. <laughs> Did you see that bathroom? I'm fucking...
fucking jealous of that shit. Imagine being 18 and having a bathroom like that. Like, you could just break dance on it whenever you wanted. <laughs> no, it's just funny that, like, and I know it's kind of the classic, like, old head shit to be like, well, they just dance for 15 seconds and they live in the fucking Buckingham Palace. But, like, and I'm sure a lot more goes into it behind the scenes than we think, but we can all agree that TikTok is way easier than the vast majority of jobs. We can agree on that, right? And so is YouTube. I'm not, I'm happy to admit that, all right? I'm happy to admit that YouTube is probably easier than most jobs, but I don't live in the set of selling sunset, okay? Here's the not a content house. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's take a look at the goat house in Ireland. In Ireland, the goat house! Crib. Um, our crib. This is fancy, fancy. This is where we're going to be living for the next little while. $2 million home. This is why Greek life is a thing in college. Because when you're this age, you want to be associated with your pals, living under one roof, all repping a random phrase or letters or something, you know? But the difference is you're also in college, working on getting a degree. These kids are all college aged with money out of their ears, all living in the nicest frat houses you've ever seen. If this was a thing when I was 18, I would have been like, fuck college. I'm just gonna try and do this. I'll do a little dance on TikTok if it gets me a house with heated floors. Studying? Nah, I'm good. I'd rather just do this a couple times, whatever the fuck that move is, and then have a pool house. Sleeping in a twin bed in the same room as somebody else, about five feet from me? No thanks. Nah. Now, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna have a 20,000 square foot house. All right, let's take a look at the jet house. Here we are, we're at the jet house. Does everyone wanna go on a house tour or what? Let's show you the bedrooms. Woo! <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm watching Love Island? <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Electricity! All right, no, we're gonna take you into the living room kitchen area. Hey, Ben! Hey. This guy, hey, dude, that's man. the best story time, guys. Yo. Landlady told us it was five grand. We cost about deposits. Let's not worry. Five thousand. Oh! This house kind of just looks like a normal Airbnb, actually, but still, it's still nice. That's what these are: is little reality TV shows that are just self-produced. You remember when, like, Jersey Shore and the Real World were all huge? That's exactly what this is. They're just—they're doing. People are doing it themselves now. Networks should be scared as fuck because I feel like this is only going to get more popular. All right, so you get it. There's a lot of these now. Creator mansions, they're called. And you think, how could anyone outdo these people, right? The Sway House, how could anyone outdo that? That bathroom? How could anyone outdo that bathroom? That's what you're thinking. All right, let's check out the Wave House in the UK. This one's brand new. I don't even know if they've finished announcing all of their members yet. That's something that people do now, I guess, is announce members one by one. <laughs> like the richest house I've ever seen. This is some old money shit. This is some like weird Jeffrey Epstein ties type money, you know? This kid Bobby Moore, who they follow on TikTok, I guess he's like their announcer or something. <laughs> I don't know, kind of fucked up not to make him like a member of the house. But they bestowed upon him the responsibility of TikToking about what's in the house, the richest things in the house. So let's check that out. Here's the craziest, most expensive things in the Wave House, part one. The house itself is worth over five million pounds, which is close to seven million dollars. Sick. It has 13 acres of land, which is the equivalent of 10 football fields. 13 acres of land and a fucking indoor pool? It also has a swimming pool, gym, and even a spa. But it gets even crazier. It also has a 100 inch TV, which cost almost $30,000. Why would you ever fucking, why would you ever need that? 
This is like billionaire shit. I don't understand. Why would you ever need a $30,000 TV? That's egregious for anybody unless you're a billionaire. What kind of TikToks are you going to film on 13 acres of land? Hey yo, going for a long jog in my own yard check. Let's watch part two. Here's the craziest, most expensive things in the wave house, part two. If you love dogs, then you'll love the wave house because it has its very own dog bath within the spa. A dog bath? I didn't think it could be done. I didn't think that the sway bathroom could be outdone. Oh. But they just did it. There's a fucking dog bath in this bathroom. A bathroom, a bath specifically for your dog. If you love Christmas, on the 10 football fields of land are over 5,000 Christmas trees. 5,000 Christmas trees that you can burn down for a sick TikTok. And if you enjoy reading, then you can visit the library located inside the house. But it gets even crazier. It has its own pond and over 300 apple trees where you can literally pick the apples off and eat them. Like this isn't a house, this is a, an estate. All right, so now you're probably thinking, who's paying for this shit? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Some some investor is about to lose some serious money, though, <laughs> once TikTok goes away on Sunday. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so, like, over the course of the last, like, two weeks or something, they've, like, revealed who the members are. And you can only imagine what they did for that. I mean, if they're willing to rent a house of this caliber or buy or whatever the fuck, then just wait till you see how they how they revealed the members okay okay <laughs> it's so fucking extra it's so extra it's just doing way too much way too much all right the first member reveal Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> i can't believe i love it it's so funny it's a boy! He throws it and the house starts on fire. <laughs> it's so fucking extra. It's so funny how overboard they went with these. Like, and like he took off his mask and he's just like normal looking. I'm not calling him ugly or anything like that. I'm saying, you know, he's a pretty good looking guy. But for, for this presentation... I half expected fucking Jason Momoa to come out of the mask. <laughs> Just the whole cast of 300. What's up? We're all members. All right, so they did one. She jumps in the pool and reveals. You gotta kind of respect how much effort they put into this. Yeah, tell me what you want. This shit works for the Kardashians and that's it. If you're just like a normal person trying to trying to pull I mean it's kind of working. It's kind of like this has a lot of likes and these this page got a ton of followers and I fucking I'm talking about it for Christ's sake. So it's, I guess it's kind of working. It's just so funny how drastically overboard they went with this. Like the first one, the very first like mask reveal, I was reading the comments and they're all like, "Who are you? I don't know who you are." <laughs> It's just so funny to be like, I'm here, folks. It's me. And everyone's like, I've no I don't know you. So then they did like an announcement video where like the mask reveals are over, but we're not done yet. We're going live tonight at 7 p.m. <laughs> it's just a fucking live stream. You made an announcement video for one live stream. Oh, I love it. I love it. Just doing the most, doing way too much. It's awesome. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the fact that this is, that they're just leveling the fuck up. Like, what's up, what's up now, Hype House? Huh? Where the fuck is your dog bath? Despicable.
And if you guys think that the content houses that we just talked about, if you think they're crazy, I mean, wait till you hear about these ones. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to our house, dude. We're a group of dudes that really likes getting shredded and working out, so we turn the whole place into one giant gym. And we call it the sweat shop. Yo, what's up? We're the normies. Um, this is the normie house. We say that because we all really like normalizing things. We're constantly leaving comments on stuff about normalizing things that aren't really normalized yet. And so we're big normies. Yo, what's up? Welcome to the taint house. We're not assholes, we're not pussies, but we're right in the middle, baby. Yo, welcome to the hoose. We're all hockey players from Canada. Yo, what's good? We're the Braille House. We're all blind. Yo, what's up? We're Delta Epsilon, and we are a frat at Miami of Ohio. Yo, what's good? We're the What's Good House. Yo, what's up? We're the WAP House, and I'm Addison Ray's mom, and I'm the only member. 